you ever run a back test and it looks absolutely perfect and then live trading just destroys you yes i've been there and that's what happens when you use fake data you're basically guessing and the market does not care about your guesses today i'm going to show you how to get a real 100 tick quality data on mt5 no shortcuts no bs this is how kinobot was built and this is how you should be testing too and make sure you grab an invite to my free live trading ai masterclass in the description i mean it click it before you forget because we're about to go deep so here's the embarrassing confession i used to use mt5's default data or broker data i see that beautiful for equity curve go along and think I'm a genius. I just cracked the code. Then when I went live, slippage, feels that never made any sense, candles that look completely different from my bat test. I was basically flying blind and I had no idea. And I even looked at the quality and I didn't understand it, but it was like 20%. You know what the difference is between hedge funds and us? Is that they don't mess around with this stuff. They validate on real tick data. They sync everything to broker server time. And then they automate. That's the Kinobot standard. That's what separates from traders who make it from traders who blow accounts. So let's fix your setup right now. All right, so first things first is we need Tick Data Suite. So this is the tool that's going to pull real historical data from the actual market provider. So just pull up your browser and search Tick Data Suite, go to the vendor page and you can grab a free 14 day trial. So just click free trial, enter your email, enter your name. I've already used my free 14 day free trial so long ago so they don't let me get it anymore. <laughs> now when you install it, just run the installer. This is not like downloading any other program. There's no need to go through that. Just accept the term and agree. Agreements. Then they're going to send you the license key to your email. All you have to do is copy and paste that into the field that they give you. And after you install, Tick Data Suite is going to sort all your raw downloads in a folder that looks like this. You see this right here? That's where it's going to store on your file finder or your um, file explorer. So make sure you keep track of that. Save it because you're going to need it. We're not in importing those files directly. We just know where they live because we'll come back to that. All right. So now here is the fun part. We're about to download years of real tick data. And when I say years, I mean from 2010 to today or from 2003 to today. And this is what actually happened in the market. So open up tick data manager. It will look exactly like this so you should be able to see all the pairs it should really say zero downloaded days for you then top left of your data it should say duca copy that is fine to keep it on that for this example i'm going to go with aud usd because i haven't did it yet so what you want to do is click it click these three dots right here and this is where you're going to click how long you want to download so obviously all data is all data has since 2003 which is over 20 years ago i was just three year old three years old and then we're going to do they have six months obviously but we're going to do let's say the last six months or actually you know what we should do we should do a year let's do this let's do 2000 what was a good year 2016 2016 was a good year so let's do the whole year of 2016 that's the data we're going to download let me know if you understand the, the importance of 2016 we're going to do december 31st we're going to do a whole year then we're just going to start the download as you can see it's downloading the days it's downloading the tick data so this is how you get 100 percent tick quality so now just let it run you're going to see the progress bar start moving the file size is going to continue to grow and sometimes into gigabytes but not for this one since it's only a year that's good that just means you're getting the real dense accurate tick data so when it's done if you open the storage folder that we talked about earlier you'll see a duca's copy subfolder with your symbol AUUSD and inside of these are the daily BFC files so don't try to import those straight to MT5 they will not work we need to export them the right way first all right so as you can see ours is done downloading oh the file will look like something like this obviously these are files that are already downloaded before but this is the most current one which is AUDUSD so 2016 obviously the year and these are just all the different days that we've downloaded with the different months and the different days of the ticks all right so now this step is very important you want to come back here we're going to click on au usd right here so now we have export ticks and export bars that was not there before we had to download the duca's copy so now we want to go to export ticks and we want to select the date that already has it already has the date for us that whole entire year and then the format is you want to pick meta trader 5 obviously you want to make sure that you put the gmt offset at plus two and then you want the dst which is the destination to be uh us just for the server and we're using the IC markets. All right, so now when you click the three dots, this should show up and it'll be a little box. But now that we downloaded Duca's copy, we have export ticks right here and we have export bars. So what you're gonna do is click export ticks. We already have the dates selected. We're going to click the format and we're gonna pick MetaTrader 5. Then we are going to go to GMT offset, click plus two. Then we're gonna go to US destination. Then we're gonna click start export. You wanna put this where you'll remember it. Right now it's gonna be on my downloads, but um, you can also have it on your desktop. So we're gonna click save. Now what you're gonna see is down here, the status of the exportation 
location it is exporting so we're gonna let that export all right so now what you want to do is you want to create a custom symbol we cannot import that data into a symbol that your broker already has or just going to overwrite that data so to be able to do that you want to go to market watch you want to right click and then you want to go to symbols so now what you want to do is you want to come here down to the bottom you want to create custom symbol so you're going to pick copy from you're going to pick that symbol of which you're copying from or the data you got from the broker so it can analyze and it can input all these things for you without you having to manually do it so click aud usd for this example that we're doing then what you do want to do is change the name i'm going to do underscore kino and then right here the group path it should update as well and then all you have to do is click ok and then we can click ok again and so you'll see right here on the side right here aud usd kino and then you can click chart window and nothing is going to show because we have not imported any data so we're going to go back to symbols then right here we're going to go to ticks we have aud usd selected and now we're going to import ticks so this is where we're going to go get that file that we did download and remember mines are in the downloads in the data folder and you're just going to double click it and it's going to show all the days with all the ticks and you're going to hit ok so as you see, all these ticks are being imported and you can even see in the screen in the background, the data is being uploaded. And this is all the way in 2016. This is how you get the most accurate data. And this all actually happened on the charts. This is how you're able to back test. This is how you're able to optimize proficiently and now we hit okay all right so now we can back test you have all the data in there you can update more data whenever you want but this is the year 2016 the entire year um just open the strategy tester you can choose your ea obviously we're going to use the kino bot here for this demonstration you want to make sure you select your new symbol that you just did click custom then click forex then click majors then click aud usd and every single and set the model every tick based on real ticks right here and this is the key so this is what's going to give you that 100 tick quality data and for execution delay choose server ping for sure or random delay which you can find all that right here and also have your delay right here you want to keep it realistic because real trading is not instant so then you want to pick your time frame obviously that you're running on um it doesn't matter for kinobot because all of it is configured inside here and then most people skip this step make sure you click right here and add commissions you can't see it but it says emulate slippage for recruits uh during trade execution click those slider bars then make sure you're inputting a commission i put three dollars and then charge is instant by deal volume and then obviously the customer some symbol then just click okay now you want to select your dates obviously we did 2016 one of the best years ever created in man one of the best years ever created that god bless us with january 1st 2016 all the way to january or december 31st 2016 then you want to just click start when the test finishes open your back test tab and look at history quality you should see 99 as you can see or 100 so i want to be clear about this what this number actually means is it's not magic guarantee that your ea will match live results to the pip what it does mean is that you're testing on real complete tick data so not synthetic broker gaps or missing candles that's the environment kinobot was designed for so that's the environment you should be testing and if you want proof go ahead and run the same ea on your broker's regular aud usd over 2016 fee without the custom symbol you'll see the lower tick quality data and it doesn't matter what you run because it's not real and the equity curve will definitely 100 look different so that's the difference between just guessing and knowing and one more thing to do don't just forget about it um at the start of each month export the prior month's ticks and then import them into your custom symbol uh this keeps the test aligned with how the market is actually moving right now and if you want even tighter accuracy then do that twice a month it only takes a few minutes once it's set up so do this as much as you want look so kinobot was validated on precise tick quality data with real commissions with real delay with real spreads that's why it handles liquidity sweeps fair value gaps and timing with consistency you cannot do that manually not for long at least you'll mess up you'll get tired you'll second guess but if you automate truthful data now you've got something that works while you sleep that scales that doesn't panic when the market moves this workflow gives you the truth and the truth is what wins if this click for you make sure you use it because you do not want to use broken data make sure you click the link in the description for my free live trading ai master class grab you a seat invite link is in the description I'm going to walk you through this entire setup, the Kinobot optimization presets, and how to deploy without guessing. So seats fill up fast, so do not wait long. I'll see you in the masterclass. Let's go.